everybody please stand. Case of flag for us, please. Right hand over your hearts. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lobos, and this is your Lobo Lowdown for Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. Have a great rest of your week and definitely show your paws. The topic of the day is hardship. The challenge for today is to consider a hardship in your life and see if you can find a gift or lesson you've gained from the experience. Hey Lobos, if you've been walking through the L building lately, you've noticed this track and field news. And today is a very important uh, meeting for all returning uh, athletes and all newcomers. And it will be held t today at 3 p.m. out on the baseball bleachers so we can all sit there. And you'll be able to meet the coaches, find out about our holiday practices, and also when our official practices will begin in January. So please come and and get all the updated news and uh, hope to see you out there and we're really looking forward to uh, an exciting season starting officially in January. So I hope to see you out there this afternoon. Thank you. Okay. Attention to everyone interested in joining leadership. There is an informational meeting today at lunch in L17. So we hope to see you there to show your paws. Attention seniors, FAFSA workshops will be taking place in the library every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from after, or six period until 3.30 from now until March 2nd. Thank you. Hey Lobos, one more thing. When you return for the new year from winter break, I want to make sure you know that the M building is going to be closed, like off limits, like no teachers, no nobody. The new classrooms for uh, those classrooms in the M building will be in the back portables, those new brown portables out there. If you need to find Mr. Mejia and I, the ninth grade team, we're in P23. The others, if you have a teacher in the M building, look around campus for flyers and ask your teacher, where are you going to be in 2017? See you later, Lobos. Hey, Lobos, make sure to participate in our Holiday Spirit Week. Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day. Thursday is Scarves and Beanies. Friday is Class Colors. Seniors are red. Juniors are green. Sophomores are brown. And freshmen are white. Good morning, Lobos. Hey, just want to thank everyone uh, for participating last week in our challenge days. Uh, we had a great time. Um, we had a lot of fun. We dropped the water line. Uh, we learned a lot about one another. So to all the students, all the teachers, our volunteers, thank you so much for being there. Uh, and my challenge uh, to you are a couple of things. Uh, let's not forget what we learn um, during challenge day. Let's remember to respect one another, to listen to one another, to um, give each other time to get to know one another. Um, also, make sure you get hug certified every single day. I know I'm going to be looking for 12 hugs minimally every single day, and so should you. Um, have a great, great vacation, and let's truly be uh, the example of what Challenge Day is, not just for this week, but for next year and uh, as part of our legacy here at Los Anigos High School. Love you guys. Challenge Day was a good experience. I did it my sophomore year and this is my junior year. If you haven't done it, I encourage you to do it next year. It will really change the way you think and feel about your school and everything. Overall, Challenge Day was a great experience. I think interacting with other students that I don't normally re interact with was great. And my favorite part was hugging because I love hugging. Challenge Day for me was very life-changing. It helps a lot 
it makes me feel like I'm not alone in the world. Like everybody goes through situations and... Challenge Day was such an amazing experience. It was great to get to know students uh, on a deeper level and just um, learn more about what unifies us all as human beings. Challenge Day was awesome guys. Be the change. You guys should have been there. Challenge Day was an eye-opening experience and everyone should have the opportunity to be a part of it. Challenge Day was very inspirational to me and it was a good way to meet new people and not, I don't know, like, see other people's struggles, not just your own. Well, Challenge Day for me was very life-changing. Even though this was my second time doing it, it was just as amazing as the first. And I think that everyone should have a chance to experience it because it's one of the greatest things that I think was brought to the school. This was my second challenge day and what I loved about this opportunity was that although I thought that it might be repetitive, it was actually very enriching because I got to focus so much more on the students and um, just creating that family is really what I appreciated about Challenge Day this time and I love the people who are in my small group and I hope to see them soon in my classroom but the best part was watching these people from all different walks of life and all different interests and all different groups come together and just have fun. So thank you again for Challenge Day. Yes, we had four incredible days here. The students are remarkable. They're, what I love, what I was telling one of the adults, I think yesterday, what's really great about these students is they don't just all come in and they're ready to just listen to everything. Like they do this day the way they need to do the day and they listen to their own gut and then they slowly decide when it's time for them to participate and how they're going to participate, which makes the reward that much more authentic and real. So you got an incredible group of students here and the staff and faculty, there's a lot of support and love that's obvious and it was awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I was here last year and I literally could not wait. I've been waiting all year. I got lucky enough to be able to come back and the school and the young people and the adults exceeded my expectations. I hope to come back next year. I uh, love y'all. Much love. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and hope to see you next year. Yeah. yeah Thank you. May your days be merry and bright. It's that time of year, everybody, where we get to watch one of my favorite movies, Charlie Brown Christmas, The Grinch Stole Christmas. But what I like the best about this time of year is that we have time to spend with our friends, family, and anybody that we love in the entire world. You know, it's not about receiving gifts, it's what we're giving back to other people. And once again, Los Amigos High School gives back to community. Just this past weekend, we had the Helping Hands group give 40 families blessings with food, gifts, and just the spirit of kindness and Christmas. Christmas is all about kindness. The holidays are all about kindness and giving back. I know I receive countless requests for donations, and I'm gladly, I'm happy to do that because my life has been extremely blessed in many, many ways. And if I can give back, I absolutely do. And so as you're looking at this holiday season, I want you just to think about what is most important in your life. Embrace that time and just enjoy. Have a blessed, blessed holiday season. I'll see you in the new year, 2017. And seniors, you're looking forward to 2017 because in six short months, it's your time to shine.